Hi guys, it's Amity and Rebecca. We're here to um, introduce two amazing classrooms in our children's ministry. We have the fourth and fifth grade class and the fours and fives class. Um, these classes are full of amazing children and each week we're kind of struggling to find uh, leaders to fill the positions. So we wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look um, at how these classes function and some of the really cute kids <laughs> that are in these classes. So we're gonna pray, can we? What it is I love about serving in the fours and fives. Uh, I love serving the church. <laughs> I love being a part of the body. And uh, this is an opportunity for me to be able to serve with my wife, and uh, be with kids, little ones. You know, I don't have little ones like that around, and so that's that's fun. It's easy. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, and uh, I don't have to know too much to be able to do it. So that's great and easy. For a lot of the the kids that are here, I mean, I remember being there when we made a pledge when they were dedicated. Uh, to, to, to help them, to help them grow in their faith and, and to be a part of this community and this church. And so that's a big part of why uh, kind of a, a feeling of obligation and being able to, to do that and exercise it in a way that's, uh, that I feel like I can do because there's other ways I don't think I could. What's your favorite thing about church? Elsie's coming into my class. Oh, your cousin in your class? Then we get pops at the end. I like it when we pray and when we do crafts. What is something you've learned about God in church? That he always trusted us, even as something goes bad. Do you have a favorite game that you've played at church? Mm, kitchen. Kitchen. I like all of them. All the games? They are an energetic group of kids. They're excited, they're motivated, their minds are working and they're ready to grow. We come to get to church a little early, pray together as a group, and then get it going. Um, we have a lot of activities. There are a lot of great activities and stories and singing and um, the kids are very invested and interested in it. What is something that you learned about at church or about God recently? Uh, I learned more about Joseph and uh, what his story was with his um, 11 brothers. And that's something I've really enjoyed learning about. I love learning about God and like all those questions I have, I know like, I know that mostly you guys have an answer for it. It makes me feel really good. I learned that God is always with you no matter what and he will stick with you even if, um, no matter what happens, even if you don't want him, even if you try to push him away, he will stay with you. Just like in one of our lessons, um, in one of the stories, um, there was this guy who like wrestled with like an angel or with God, but God like sticked with him. What's your favorite thing about church? Or what's your favorite thing we did this week? Either, either question. This week? My favorite thing we did this week was probably the game we played today, where people were blindfolded and you had to like direct them through the maze. That was really fun. I like singing here. I love singing all the God songs and you know all of that. That sounds it's really fun. I really love church and it really helps me through some things when something's going on. Something that I want to do differently. Well, I have a little bit of trouble with my anger and I'm trying to work on that right now. I enjoy that we all. Each and every one of us gets to experience God in our own way and that all of the leaders in our groups are always trying to like to help us like connect to God and I think that it's really cool that the teachers are so kind and understanding and really they're really fun. Well, I just love seeing the heart of those kids, um, listening to them answer the questions about why they love 
church and why they love coming here. Um, what are some of the reasons uh, why our fourth and fifth graders need leaders? What are some of the things that you're seeing? Well, first of all, as you can see, our fourth and fifth grade class is so much fun. Um, they're just amazing kids and they engage with not only the activities and the games, but they really also engage with the lessons. Yeah. And at, in fourth and fifth grade, kids are really starting to ask those questions. They're starting to develop their own faith and their parents' faith isn't yeah as important as figuring out those things for themselves. Yeah. Also, friendships are really important and they start to even become more important and influential than even um, some of the parents' opinions about mm -hmm. things. Um, but amazingly, mm -hmm. leaders in church, like teachers in a classroom, can also be more influential at that age. So it's just a really important age and it's amazing because you really get to invest in those kids' faith and, and see it grow. Yeah. So Rebecca, you serve in mm -hmm. ministry. Yes. Uh, what is the reason why we serve? Yeah. Well, for me personally, a huge reason as to why we serve um, is kind of the reason why I walked through the doors of RCC years ago was I was hurting. I needed, um, I needed to feel the Lord again. I needed healing in so many areas of my life. And I got so much of that from the worship and the prayer time and the ministry and, and the word each Sunday. But a different layer of healing for me started when I started pouring out. And um, there is nothing quite like pouring out into kids because you kind of see some of the fruits right away. Like you, especially with those fours and fives, you tell them like, God loves you. And they're gonna yell at you, God loves you. <laughs> and it's just such a, um, a rewarding process, but just a huge part um, of healing in general. And just really experiencing God's joy has come from serving. And so that's just one one of many reasons, but such a good reason to um, serve. Yeah, so if you guys are interested. You yeah. can um, email Rebecca or I, Rebecca mm -hmm. at rivercitychurch.com, Amity at rivercitychurch.com. Um, let us know, we can give you more information. Also October 30th, we have another volunteer um, training for children's ministry. Yeah. It's right after church, there'll be lunch served and you can just come and um, find out more, ask questions um, yeah. and let us know. Yes, thank, thank you. you guys.